Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, returning to the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. I got a little bored with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I don't really feel like um, jumping into GTA 5 again. So I decided to replay Red Dead Redemption 2, and hopefully I will add to this channel some more videos that are somewhat interesting, maybe helpful, and, well, just fun. This is called Polite Society Valentine Style, and it's a series of events that Arthur Morgan must deal with when he heads into the city of Valentine. Now, I'll be doing some things a little differently than my first playthrough based on everything I've learned from that first playthrough, and hopefully, again, I'll bring some interest and some help to other players. So let's get on with Polite Society Valentine style. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. Very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 starts out a little slow, but these things are actually, these events and what's going on are helping you as a player learn the controls. You know, how to talk to a horse, calm down an animal, various things that, you know, you need to learn, and when you learn them, you become a much better player. Man, Arthur. Easy. You're okay. That's it, boy. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just... Trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> now, one of the things you see in Red Dead Redemption 2 is this storytelling. The barbs and jabs people take at each other. They're all kidding, and because they're familiar with each other and know each other, there's a closeness to the group. Now, I'm going to fast forward through a little bit and get to the next encounter. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. 
morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. This part gets you used to dealing with and interacting with businesses. And it's relatively easy. They still have the pop-up menu on how to do things. But, again, something like this is still good to learn. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Uh, get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! What's interesting here is some foreshadowing, and it has to do with Miss Tilly and certain facts that will come up later on in the game. So, yeah, I mean, this is really good storytelling. If you pay attention to the game and don't get upset that it takes a while, it's really, really good storytelling. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh, I paid for nothing. Uh, Who's talking now? Huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but it is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. I hope, uh, okay. okay up there. Keep investigating. I will. Now, after this, you see that Arthur's somewhat honorable, but the next event that will pop up, you can kind of start determining your character's actual honor and whether or not, you know, he's a good guy or a bad guy, you can kind of waffle between them. And this is what happens. Where's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Nope. Now I'm gonna fast forward through this a little bit because the chase is really not important. You're gonna eventually catch up to the guy. I didn't mean nothing by it. Honest. You have to. 
to help me. Help someone. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Mission complete. Now, in the first playthrough, I actually uh, let the guy die. And it doesn't really affect whether or not you get silver, gold, or bronze. But it does affect Arthur's honor. And someone told me, or a, a friend, I should say, said, you know, you shouldn't kill the guy. And thought, oh, why? He says, well, next time you play through, let him live and find out. And that's the thing about Red Dead Redemption 2 is you do something, it really doesn't affect other things, but in the end, there's little potential side missions or stuff that pops up that you might wind up doing or someone owes you a favor either you let him live or you let him die it affects things and that's why I returned to Red Dead Redemption 2 if you found this helpful hit the thumbs up icon feel free to leave a comment if you like this type of video hit the subscribe button and bell icon I post four videos a week involving video games and you don't want to miss out as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.